Um, this is just a response to uh, Warren um, on his last video, which um, I found very interesting. Uh, I just wanted to comment, but I felt that my written comment would uh, go way over uh, 500 characters. Um, funny enough, I was having a conversation with a number of people that were born between actually 1976 and 1984, which is somewhere in that sweet spot that you're referring to. And many of them are in the financial world, and you are correct. Um, anecdotally speaking, anecdotally speaking um, their focus is uh, more to the grindstone of, of, of cash and material wealth. What I am finding out from my own generation, and I'm that Generation X, 1968, uh, I guess it's probably 19, I guess that we're, we're all in Generation X, 1968 to 1970 something. Um, you know, we, m my generation, I've noticed, are, are kind of, uh, there's a dichotomy um, between my group, which are older, who did see uh, the end result of Woodstock and so forth and watch the transition from um, uh, the hippie to the yuppie uh, and the disillusionment of, of their concept of, you know, um, free love into, you know, this uh, gecko greed is good situation. Um, basically, my point or my comment to your video is that I don't think that the all-out war is going to happen in 2040. <laughs> I honestly believe that the all-out war is going to happen in this, these children's generation in their, in their grammar school lifetime, in that, in that part of their lifetime. Um, why do I say that? Well, because I honestly believe that the, the positioning of um, situations are moving towards a distraction, not unlike the Clinton administration's bombing of Libya when, uh, when uh, President Clinton was in a uh, situation which he was, uh, well, let's just put it this way, uh, the Monica Lewinsky issue. Uh, so uh, here you have these guys who are um, baby boomers covering their tracks for um, for basically uh, to cover their, to, to save face, uh, where I think that this particular administration is going to do it to both A, distract people from the fact that we are in a, a point in which our economy is being um, brought down to level zero uh, because we have wound up all this debt and all this fictitious um, wealth. Uh, and I think it's going to, this, this, this distraction is going to be couched in a position where people are actually going to open up, openly say, this is good for the economy. You know, this is how we got out of the Great Depression. We went to war with the whole world. That's what scares me. That we as a nation are going to say to one another, it's okay to sacrifice our children. It's okay to sacrifice um, uh, people who have uh, who would not normally, um, uh, you know. Instead of turning our people towards producing our food and our clothing, we're going to use them for cannon fodder, so we can shrink our unemployment rolls, basically, through mass murder. Now, Warren, uh, you may not necessarily agree with me. Um, I like your style because you're very analytical, even more so than myself. But what you point out is a very critical point of view, which is we seem to find our way out of problems through this cycle that you were pointing out. And you know, you, you see these heroic leaders. Well, we lost so many people, the only group that we lost more people in prior to this war was the Civil War. I mean, how, my concern is you, you showed at the beginning of your video, and I'm, this is not, a, uh, this is not a, a point of criticism to you, but it's just stark. 
in the evidence. We have 500, maybe a million, maybe 5 million people that are either unemployed or underemployed. What a, what a, what a wonderful way to couch a distraction by killing off, I want to use that term, by, by murdering off a large portion of people to uh, bring about economic stability. Don't forget, the boom of the 50s came because we had pretty much wiped out uh, working age people through war. This is what scares me. This is what concerns me. Because the easiest way to solve this problem from the position of a government is to literally kill off uh, working age people so there are less people and more jobs. It's, it's, a, it's a thought I'd like to add on to what you're showing because I see the human cost in this and the philosophical end of it. That's my, that's my strong suit. I see numbers and those numbers have faces and unfortunately those are going to be the faces of people that will, will join the fight to protect the country and will die for, for honor, but in reality the government is killing them for economics. So, I leave my comment. Warren, you're, you're a genius and you're the smartest man probably on YouTube that I know and the most detailed person that, um, you know, you lay stuff out that's just crystal clear. But I just wanted to share that comment with you. Good job, bud. Peace.